My first question. Yes. What is your secret to have such energy? Our top secret is women's freedom. Seventeenth, eighteenth century, men pushed women to wear corset and dress and tiny, tiny shoes. They they treated women like, like a doll. I hated. I was. I got angry with that. That story. So this time, I wanted to. I wanted to uh, stand on women's side. If there had to be one word to describe the latest round of ready-to-wear offerings for summer 2023, it would be freedom, a desire to liberate bodies and minds from all forms of restraint. Like Yoji Yamamoto, Hidenori Kumakiri is based in Tokyo. For him, freedom means the right to make myriad unexpected connections between masculine and feminine, between simple and complicated, civilian and military. The world we're living in right now is very dark. And that's how beautiful people came to this idea of taking functional clothing and turn it into something more joyful. And what's especially interesting, I think, is the fact that the elements are interchangeable. You can make lots of different outfits. This jacket is in fact two different jackets. For example, there, I was wearing a pretty classic parka green like the rest of the collection, and then all of a sudden it becomes something akin to an orange evening gown. That is what gives this collection its spark. Mossi Traoré describes himself as a social entrepreneur. With his organization, Les Ateliers Parisiens, he created an haute couture school on the outskirts of the French capital. He's also a fan of reworking uniforms. My dad was a binman. A lot of the dads in the neighborhood where I grew up were binmen, and they worked their whole lives. I wanted to pay homage to everyone who does that for a living. People who wake up early to clean the streets of Paris. And then, well, we had a lot of fun with it. I really plunged you into the binmen's world. It was a project I did in partnership with the Paris authorities. I learned a lot along the way. And the result is a very urban collection, which is very different from what I normally do. We did keep some of that couture spirit, but what you're seeing today is very colorful, vibrant. It's flashy, fluorescent. It's very green. We use Japanese denim that we then rework. There's a lot more denim around this season, even denim dresses, pieces that can be changed into other things or adjusted. What else? We've turned the Ben Men uniform into a truly fashion forward vision. And Mossi Traoré did his research, getting in touch with social media star Ludovic Leboueur, Ludovic the Bin Man in English. You know, I've pretty much seen myself as a bin man since I was really small, because all around me I saw people picking stuff up, men collecting our bins. I even collected my siblings' cigarette ends. I didn't necessarily make myself a lot of friends, but hey, I reminded them that bins exist, and they're very important. And that's something we tend to forget. But look, the importance of these bins is really on show here. It's wonderful to see. Bins really are the most important objects. At Isabelle Marron, meanwhile, that impulse towards free expression is as strong as it was when she founded the label in 1994. Freedom, that is, to dress how you want, feminine or masculine, sexy or understated. She represents freedom, she, she, uh, happiness, joy, uh, the la femme in its, com in, in its completeness, you know, it's always a celebration. Isabelle Marron. Um, yeah, she's a great artist. I mean, I love Isabel personally, and I love everything she makes, and it's always comfortable, and I'm excited to see the show. Because the girls are very sexy. I mean, sound like a Frenchman. 
It's about freedom, revolution. It's a confident femininity, but with a certain discretion. In fact, there's a French expression that doesn't exist anywhere else, and that's avoir du chien. It's almost indescribable. It's a nonchalance, being chic, but not too much, a style that crosses borders and decades while never being out of place. And I think it's wonderful when you can give a woman, or a man, that feeling through clothing. Self-confidence. Absolutely, it's about self-confidence. And that's what true sartorial freedom looks like. Wearing what you want, when you want, however you want to.